Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and actually welcome to the Jupiter system since we are actually here today. We've got Jupiter and all of its moons fully loaded up. So today we are going to be making Ganymede larger than Jupiter. So I'm getting quite um, interested in this series actually because it is quite interesting. So yeah. We're just taking moons of planets and making them larger than the planets. Pr pretty fun, like, you guys seem to like the one where I did with Earth and the Moon. Then I made the one with, um, Deimos and Mars, I think that's how you say it, um, Deimos, whatever. And then now we're going to be doing Ganymede and Jupiter, so the largest moon in the solar system with the largest planets. So we're going to make, basically making this the largest planet, so that's going to be pretty awesome. So, anyways, before we get into this, many, many thanks to everyone who's been watching the videos recently. Like, I'd probably say it in like, every video, maybe getting bored of it, but... Wow, the sub count is still going up crazily fast, so if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, because, yeah, we're getting somewhere here, but <laughs> anyways, yeah, let's get out of all that, so yeah, many thanks to everyone who subscribes, leave a like and comments, because, yeah, I like seeing comments, but anyways, there we are, so, let's get into this, so first of all, we're going to do it like we do normally, but we're going to make it um, a little more interesting, so, we're going to start off on pretty much the north of Jupiter and try and spot Ganymede, so it's right there, I believe, so it already looks quite small, so what we're going to do is we're going to double up its size a bit. So we're going to make it about, so it's 2.6, okay, let's just make it about 5,000 now. So that's double the size pretty much, and it um, doesn't really look like much of a difference has happened. So we can check the orbits as well. Anything in the orbits changed? Um, not really, no. So, that's not good. <laughs> well actually that's sort of what we want actually, because um, if it changes the orbits it could mess everything up. So, yeah, that wasn't good. Alright. So let's have a look. So Ganymede used to be 2.02 moons, now it's 16. So the mass has definitely increased. So it could start to mess up with um, Europa. So where's Europa? So Europa is there. And Callisto's orbits. We have no idea. <laughs> this would never happen in real life, but yeah, we'll, keep, we'll, do, we'll do a few um, a few um, orbits of Jupiter, see if anything changes. Okay, I think we're all good here. Everything seems to be staying the same around Jupiter. So I've literally just got Jupiter and its moons and then Sun, and that's it. So... Yeah, pretty cool. And I thought I'd rock a different background today as well. As you can see, I've got like a bluey yellow sort of one. Looks pretty nice. So, let's go into this again. And let's uh, make its size doubled again. So, let's do this. So, it's 5,000 now. Let's make it 10,000. Then we should start to see a difference in its size every time we double it up. So, if we look now onto the North Pole here. Which, um, uh, there we are. Let's um, turn off all of the orbits. And we should see it no problem. So, where is it? Ganymede? That's not it there, is it? That's Io. And then Europa's there, I believe. Okay. Ganymede, where are you at? Um, oh, there it is. Okay, so we just need to um, hit play a little more and hopefully um, we'll see it go by. So. Oh, Jupiter's flying away. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, so let's um, quickly travel through here. Um, there we are. And now we should see it. There it is. Okay, so it's looking looking bigger, but still not that large. But if we um, if you want a quick comparison, um, here is Earth, so it's going to be larger. Yep, yeah, there we go. So a little larger than Earth. Now this would be the largest moon by absolutely miles. All right, so um, yeah, if you want a quick comparison with all the other moons as well, here we are. So there we are. It's a lot larger than Callisto now because they used to be similar sizes. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff there. Alright, yeah, just look at the four major moons and just look at all these tiny ones. The next largest moon is literally just an asteroid. All of Jupiter's moons, apart from the four main ones, are all asteroids. It's crazy. It's pretty interesting, though. So that's pretty much evidence that most of Jupiter's moons are probably from the asteroid belt as well. Because if you look here, the four original moons are there. And then all these ones are out here, meaning they never formed around Jupiter, probably. They probably got caught by off caught from the asteroid belt, which is pretty interesting if you didn't know that. But that's my predictions for where they all came from, because there's no way these all formed around Jupiter. We would have had something similar to Saturn if that happened, because Saturn has a lot of um, a lot of moons that are large enough to become um, spheres, but Jupiter's moons are all just tiny little asteroids which aren't large enough to come a bes uh, or come a sphere shape. Yeah, how do you say it? Sphere. I've always been bad at pronouncing that, but anyways. Let's um, speed this up again and see if any of the orbits change. So now at 1.36 Earth in mass, so it's definitely a lot bigger now. So anything happening? Oh, there is a difference here because earlier, if you didn't notice, these orbits were not shaking around. But now, because Ganymede is larger and it's got the mass of a planet, its orbit has changed. And if we look on the inner part here, these moons have changed as well. These two little guys here. And Io, actually. Io's orbit is slightly um, bent as well. And Europa, actually. Okay, interesting. So stuff is happening here. 
So let's ramp it up even more. So let's do 20,000 now. So the mass is going to increase again to 10 Earths. And now things are going crazy. As we can see, the orbits are just not hanging on anymore. And stuff is starting to orbit the sun. You may have just caught a glimpse of one of the objects around the sun there. So not good. All right, so who's this saying? Oh, Europa's on a collision course with Jupiter almost. So that's not good for Europa. And it also looks like Ganymede has taken Callisto as its own moon now. Since this thing is 10 Earths. Because you've got to remember, Jupiter is 318. So it's still a lot larger, or a lot smaller than Jupiter, but that's not too good. Alright, Europa looks like it's probably going to get torn apart, since it will be the closest moon to Jupiter at this point. So that's not too good. Okay, it looks okay, but we did lose, it did lose some mass, as you can see. These fragments were just pulled away. Okay, not good. Now if we want to have a little, another little peek at how big it is from the North Pole. Yeah, getting pretty big now, compared to what it was, so... Yeah, not good. This thing is humongous now. So if you want another quick comparison with everything, here we are. So, getting a little larger now, we can probably compare it to Planet 9 or Neptune in size almost now. So if you want a quick comparison, there's um, Uranus actually. And then Earth is just tiny now. So poor little Earth. Alright, so let's continue and let's see if any of the orbits change. I'm pretty, I wouldn't be surprised if Europa does eventually get destroyed by Jupiter. Callisto's orbit's changed as well, okay. Yeah, poor Europa's definitely going to get shredded apart at some point. Or oh, it's a little a little further away than it was previously. So if they both get to this point at the same time, yeah, it's not going to be too good for Europa here. So yeah, there we go. Look. Oh, did it hit Ganymede? I think we just had a collision with Ganymede there. Yeah, it hit Ganymede. Look. Oh, poor old Europa got shredded there. So Ganymede now has a, um, a lot of water on it. Well, not too much, but it has a decent amount. So um, yeah, pretty cool actually. So we've completely consumed Europa now, so 20,003 kilometres, so Europa only added an extra 3 kilometres to the radius, so that's pretty crazy. Alright, so let's um, make it up to 40,006, because that's double what it was before, so there we are. And now, you can see a massive size difference now. That thing is looking pretty, pretty big now, so um, get another North Pole shot from Jupiter here. Um, where is it? Yeah, that bad boy is pretty big now, look at that. Wow. Okay, so I think we're going to be definitely larger than um, Uranus and Neptune. I think we're almost as large as Saturn now, actually. Yeah, almost. Not there yet. And then there's Jupiter for comparison. Um, yeah, so smaller than the ice giants now. So that's... Or larger, I should say. Excuse me there. So, let's keep this going. Okay, it looks like it's getting a little closer to Jupiter. Yes, it is. This is the closest point, and then the first point is there. Where's Callisto gone? Wait. Callisto? Are you still, are you still alive, Callisto? Where, where's Callisto at? Callisto, let's search it up. Oh, it's been thrown over here now. Wow. Oh, Callisto is now part of the sun. Oh, wow. Look at everything. Okay. Okay, so all of the moons are breaking away from Jupiter at some point. It looks like these little guys... Okay, they've gone there. Their orbits keep changing. Yeah, this is definitely causing some serious damage to Jupiter's system right here. What? Whose orbit is that? Is that Callisto there? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Tiny little ones. So where is Callisto actually now? Wow. Wow. That's pretty insane, actually. See, it's a lot more interesting to do this with planets that actually have moons um, compared to Earth and Mars, where there's only two moons at Mars and then you only have um, one moon at Earth. But seeing this with um, these um, these other moons, it's causing some crazy, crazy effects here. It's marvellous. This is awesome. Look at that massive ring of all these different orbits around the sun. But as soon as we hit play, they all reset around Jupiter. That is pretty amazing. Look at that. That's cool. Yes, yeah, so if you want to get some crazy looking effect for your own game, check that out. That's pretty cool, actually. Got to remember how to do that. I'm glad I'm keeping this video, because I won't take it down. There's no reason why I would, so, yeah, all good. Right, let's make things a little interesting. Let's warm it up as well. Why Why not? 40 degrees? 40 degrees, I don't know. Make it look a little more pretty. Let's add an atmosphere. We could have an atmosphere, I don't know. Some random one there. There we go, look at that. It's got water on it. <laughs> Alright, anyways, enough of um, messing around now, so... Let's double it up its size again. So, where is Io? Is Io completely destroyed now? Let's have a look. So, Callisto's still alive. Oh, yeah, Io has been destroyed. It must have collided with Jupiter at some point there. Any collision marks on Jupiter? Anything? Okay, it must have got thrown into um, Ganymede at some point. We didn't spot it. So, there's an impact there from Europa. Is there any other impacts? Or is it literally just the Europa one? Oh, well. I won't ask questions. Okay, so, 40,000 kilometers. Now we're going to get to the interesting stuff, so we're going to double it up again, 80,000 kilometers, and now we are larger than Jupiter, and we also have more mass than Jupiter, so now Jupiter's the, the Jupiter is now the moon, and Ganymede is now the planet, so cool.
This is going to get interesting now. So, what is going to happen here? We do not want them. We do not want them colliding here. So, okay, that's not good. But it's just consumed all of those nearby moons. So, um, is, is your okay? The orbits are off. So, yeah, let's push it a little further out again so we can get more. So Jupiter, we've got to make it orbit um, Ganymede now. So there we are. So poor old Jupiter is eventually going to get taken down by this massive object now. So yeah, there's an impact there. Wait, is there two? Okay, yeah, there's an impact there. You can see that dark patch. That's an impact. And then it looks like this impact here is also... Okay, that I think that was the Europa one. And this must have been Io. Oh, they're getting close. Okay, let's, let's spit them out a little more. Let's try and pull it to its original distance. So Ganymede... Oh, Ganymede, okay. Yeah, Ganymede usually is out here somewhere. I'm not, uh, this isn't accurate, obviously, but yeah, Ganymede is a lot further out. <laughs> so I must reset it to where its original position probably would have been. So somewhere around here. So now let's uh, make Jupiter orbit Ganymede again. So let's go into this option here and press auto orbit. So it should be orbiting Ganymede now. Okay, perfect. So we've got a, bin oh, got a binary orbit. Okay, interesting. So there we are. So if you want another quick comparison, there we go, so we are now larger than Jupiter. Then Callisto is the only large moon remaining. Oh, there is an impact on Jupiter there. Maybe that could have been Io. Because, yeah, there's, there's more than one impact on here. But, yeah, this definitely has an impact. So, speed up. Yeah, there, that dark spot there, that, that's an impact. All right, so, Callisto, are you still around? I think it is. Callisto? Um, Callisto. Okay, Callisto is, yeah, all the way out here now, okay. Wow, so look at that. That ring is just amazing. Just look at that. That's awesome. So some of these orbits are probably going to be going out further than Neptune's distance, actually. So that's pretty interesting. All right, so the binary orbit of these two objects is um, pretty much working out well here. So this is where it's going to get crazy. So 160,000 now. So like that. Oh, it turned it into a gas giant because it got so large. See, it has no hydrogen, but when you make it a certain size, it just turns into a gas giant. So... This could become a brown dwarf. I don't know. Is its temperature going to rise? Yeah, it's, it's a brown dwarf now. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> well, that just happened. Okay, let's put another Jupiter in to keep it going. So, yeah, let's leave it about there. That should be fine. Okay, so if we'll have a look from Jupiter now, we can look. Wow, look at that ring. That is awesome. But yeah, so Ganymede is now pretty much just another huge object in the sky. Since the moon is now larger than the planet, so... That's not too good. So let's continually uh, make it even larger. So 160 times 2. So three or 32,000. Oh, 3,200,000 now. Oh, no. 320,000, sorry. Okay, there we are. So now Ganymede is a star. Okay, it reset. <laughs> Dang it. 3, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. Like that. There we are. That's what we want. So let's lock that so it doesn't change. Okay. So Ganymede has got so large because we doubled it up in size so much. That is now a star. So, um, at this point, Jupiter would have already been destroyed, but for um, experimental purposes, we're going to do it again, since now it's so large in mass that it would just pull everything towards it now, so that's not too good. So Jupiter is probably moments away from getting incinerated by it, while this new star is going to pull in all of these moons as well. There's going to be no survivors, so we can watch this in slow motion as this video now comes to an end. And there we go, look at that. And Jupiter survived! Wait, is it... Ganymede was... Wow, Jupiter got revenge. That's pretty cool. So it looks like Jupiter managed to somehow survive that collision. And now Jupiter has um, recovered its place as the large object again. So pretty interesting stuff there. So Ganymede is no more. It's destroyed. So we haven't got many moons left now. All right. Yeah, we still have plenty, actually. So we've still got good old Callisto. So that's the only one left. It's all the way out of here now. Oh, wow. Okay, so there we go. I was not expecting that to happen, but Ganymede is no more. These are the remains of Ganymede flying around here, these fragments. This large object here. This thing is massive. Look at this. Wow. Okay. So, comparing that to Jupiter originally, yeah, that fragment is massive. Wow. Okay, we can compare this star as well. So, a lot of that mass had disappeared somewhere. Okay, interesting. So, let's compare it to the sun as well. It's nowhere near the light or the size of the sun. Yeah, this guy's tiny. So, yeah, there we go. We've pretty much done it. So if you want to see what would happen if Jupiter was a star, like what would happen after this, I made a video quite a while back making Jupiter a star. So if you're interested, I'll I'll put a um, thing for you to click on at the end of this video to um, get that video. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's all that for this video, honestly, because we've done it. We've made Ganymede larger, and this was the outcome. So yeah, there we go. 
and now the solar system is now a complete mess since Jupiter has been slung out of the solar system it looks like so all that's left are Jupiter's moons orbiting a lonely sun look at this this is pretty cool though look at this they're all gonna race around that's that's pretty amazing look at that wow that is very cool look at that that is so cool look at that wow it looks like a lot more of the objects got sprayed out as well look at that so Jupiter it's not even the first way who's this so this tiny little object here just got slingshotted out wow because it's just got plenty of them orbiting the sun still but yeah, we lost a lot of objects there. Where did Callisto end up in the end? Let's have a look. Callisto? Where are you at? Let's have a little look. So Callisto does still exist, and poor Callisto has been ejected. Alright, so there's no large objects left apart from the sun now, so... Poor, poor lonely sun, I guess. All these tiny little baby objects aren't going to do much effect on the sun. So, yeah, there we go. That is that for this video. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed, and make sure if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, join us, because... We're growing in subs pretty quickly right now, so yeah, many thanks to everyone who has subbed, like I said at the start, stubbed, watched videos, left a comment and all that good stuff, and yeah, that's pretty much it, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed, like I said, and yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say, so I'll see you in the next video, goodbye and have a good day, laters.